Now, it used to be called a red-billed wood hoopoo. Oh, he does have a, have a little caterpillar. Oh, isn't that stunning? You can see the iridescence coming off the sunshine, little white bars in the tail. Oh, off it goes. Uh, if I remember correctly now, it's called, a, not a violet wood hoopoo, a green wood hoopoo. So it's got that r sort of greeny blue sheen to it. They are incredible. They, they, they live in little flocks. And if we keep quiet, oh, there it is again. Oh, and off it goes again. There's another one on the ground. Um, oh, where's my hand? They've got the most incredible call. And there we go. There it is. The most incredible call. And you can see that recurved sort of scimitar-like bill. And it's specially designed for being able to get through the cracks under bark, get into little holes. And one of their favorite foods is, of course, caterpillars. As we saw, that one had one. But also wood borer beetles. And that beak is specially designed for removing those borer beetles from the wood. Now, the Zulu name for them is, is, is actually quite funny. It's called a khegawafaz. Basically means a cackling or laughing woman. And their call is quite incredible and, it's, and it's, it's very loud and carries on for a long time. And uh, the whole joke is that when the Zulu ladies... Oh, oh no, that's a, a red-billed buffalo weaver juvenile without the red bill yet. <laughs> nice camera work, Chandra.